This is a treatment for depression here in Houston involving no medication. Instead, patients wear a helmet to stimulate parts of the brain. Stephanie Whitfield shows us how it all works. Richard Felty comes to this West Houston office five days a week to treat the depression he's grappled with for a decade. As I have grandkids, kids are older, but so I have four grandkids and I love them, man. I love them so much, but so I'm there with them, but I'm not present. He sits in this chair, not for talk therapy, but for transcranial magnetic stimulation, also called deep TMS. What's going on in their brains that requires stimulation to treat it? Dr. Raymond Cho is a psychiatrist who spent several years specializing in neurostimulation. Uh, it, it is so effective. Uh, we've just seen success story after success story. He says the helmet creates a magnetic field that's pulsed through the skull. It's like little ball bearings hitting all the different sensors in your head. The FDA approved protocol is 20 minute sessions five days a week for a month. Then sessions twice a week for another two months. Clinical trials found it's 60 percent effective in helping people with treatment resistant depression. About 15 days after I felt the best that I felt in as long as I can remember. I mean, literally at deep TMS. This video by the company Brains Way shows how the helmet targets different parts of the brain depending on what you're trying to treat. It's also FDA cleared to treat obsessive compulsive disorder. Dr. Cho says there's no cure for conditions like depression and OCD. The results typically last six to 12 months. This is Felty's second time getting the treatment. And I, I mean, everything don't work for everybody, but it works for me. Depression isn't easy to talk about, but he says there's a reason he is. Oh, it's unbelievable. I mean, it is life changing, hands down, no question. And remember, I, I have a roofing company contract. I have no invested in this whatsoever, except maybe I can help somebody can change their life the way it's done for me. Over the summer, the FDA cleared this device to help chronic smokers quit. It uses a different helmet that targets a different part of the brain. The company says it'll roll out this version of the helmet early next year. In the Texas Medical Center, Stephanie Whitfield, KHOU 11 News.